everyone. I have not vlogged in I think a week, week and a half, I don't know, something like that. All I've been doing this whole time, because I am now eight weeks and three days pregnant, i just been sitting on this couch with my mess. I got a trash can in case I throw up because I've been gagging on stuff. Um, I've been told Sour Patch Kids help with nausea. I got peppermints. I got nausea gum, my water bottles, Gatorade, saltine crackers right there. So that's seriously all I've been doing is just sitting in this chair nonstop because how I've been feeling. Today I kind of feel better. This is my first time doing my makeup. And the only reason why I'm kind of dressed and did my makeup and kind of did my hair is because I have a doctor's appointment with my OB. And I do not want to go looking in like a bum or, you know. When I was almost six weeks pregnant is when all the nausea and stuff has been happening. When it, well, when it started happening. Since then, i just been feeling like crap. I'm tired nonstop. I have the ga I gag way too much, but I will not throw up. I can't throw up. I've never been one to throw up. I never even threw up during chemo treatments. During chemo treatments, I just had the gagging 24-7, which sucked so much. I was like, I wish I would just throw up instead of just gagging. But when I was going through chemo, they finally prescribed a medication to help with that which was hard to take since it made me want to throw up. Um, but so yeah, I'm not one to throw up. I just have the gagging and nausea. And sometimes when I have the gagging, it'll feel like something's coming up and then it's just air. It's annoying. <laughs> I just been, I've been drained. I don't have sore boobs at all. I, my stomach's just been upset. I have a hard time eating, so I mainly eat saltine crackers and drink lots of water. And when I do think of food, I have to eat it right then and there, and I have to get it right then and there. Otherwise, I will not eat it, and I have, I have to come up with what I want to eat. No one else can talk about food, because then it makes me sick. I don't know if I said this or not, but before I was pregnant, my whole entire life, I ate like a bird. Like, when I say, say I eat like a bird, I mean, when I go to a restaurant, I get off the kid's meal. And that's what I eat. I I can't finish, a like, an adult-sized meal. I can eat, like, three or four chicken strips and a couple fries. That's just how I am. I get full very easily because I think it's because I'm hypothyroid. I, there's so many side effects with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's disease that I can't keep up with all of it. But yes, yeah, so I get full very, very, very easily. And then like 10 minutes later, 10, 15 minutes later, I'm hungry. But now I eat like a newborn baby bird. Instead of eating like a bird, I eat like a newborn baby bird. <laughs> Cause I can't eat much at all. It makes me sick. Sometimes talking about that stuff makes me want to, you know, um, that's why I'm making this face because it's hard to not gag. Any other side effects? Oh, and now that I'm eight weeks and three days, I started, it started when I was eight weeks. I have the crazy pregnancy dreams. I have the dreams throughout the whole night when I wake up to go to the bathroom or whatever and then I go back to sleep. I end up in a new dream. So I have those crazy dreams happening and I think that is all my symptoms. Nausea, gagging, stomach issues, oh, constipation, constipated, the crazy dreams, kind of moody, maybe a lot more moody. I don't know, Josh would have to say. What? Am I moody? Yes or no? What do you think? Huh? No, mama's not moody, huh? Oh! Another thing, I don't know if I said this in a vlog or not, I am now allergic to chapstick. Before I was pregnant, I would wear chapstick 24 seven, right when I wake up, I put it on, throughout the day I put it on, before I go to bed, I put it on. And then one day I woke up, my lips 
were swollen and chapped and cracking and bumpy. So I was like, hmm, I wonder why that is. So I applied more chapstick because my lips were super chapped and hurting. So I was like, all right, I'll just apply more chapstick. So that's, pro well, that's probably why maybe I didn't put enough chapstick on. And maybe that's why they're like this. I don't know. So I applied more chapstick. Big mistake. It made my lips worse. And it took me like two days to figure out that I am now allergic to chapstick. Um, it's also called pregnancy lips. I googled it and my mom's like, you're probably the only person who gets this. No. Other women do get this, but it's food. It's rare. <laughs> it's uh, pregnancy lips where your lips get swollen and stuff. But I think it's me being allergic to chapstick now. Since I haven't been applying chapstick, my lips are way better. But I miss applying chapstick. I'm afraid to put on lipstick. I'm afraid to put on lipstick. I'm afraid that they will turn out like they do with chapstick. I don't know how long that will last of being allergic to chapstick. Any kind of chapstick, I'm allergic to. Well, my lips are allergic to. Because I have a bunch of different chapsticks at my house and none of them work for me. Whoa! Oh, also I forgot this other thing is my, my senses are heightened. My sense is heightened. My smell is heightened. Whatever it is, whenever I smell something, it smells worse than it actually is. So yes, those are all my symptoms, I think. Those are all the symptoms that I have right now. Another thing, one last thing, I promise, I promise. If I don't feel like crap, if I feel okay, then I'm like worried that something's wrong with the baby because since I had the miscarriage and I, I'll, I'll always have a worry if something, if I don't have a side effect. I think it's normal since everything I've gone through and then the miscarriage to have those thoughts, but I don't let them really get to me because then after a while I start feeling like crap again. But if I do feel somewhat good, I'm like, is everything okay? Is the baby okay? But then I'm like, Audrey, calm down. Everything is fine. It's good. Baby is okay. But it is 100% normal to have those feelings and thoughts. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. I will see you guys after my doctor's appointment and let you know what he says. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day from my doctor's appointment. As you can see behind me, we have something going on. We are going to be doing the pregnancy announcement photos since I haven't done those yet. And this is what it's looking like so far where it's, it's still coming together. But we hate that that light's right there because it looks stupid in the photos. And then we have this for Joey to sit in with his little sign. And we also got um, crowns for Sophie and Joey that says big sister, big brother. So we're still decorating. Josh is just got off work. So he'll be here after he showers and whatnot. But it has been a struggle to get these balloons. We went to, I think, four different places in this town and <laughs> we have nothing in this town. Everything, there's like no balloons, no one blows up balloons. Supposedly there's a helium shortage. So it's been a struggle, but we finally found the balloons and got them blown up at Kroger. Of all places, we got it done at Kroger's. But we are trying to get this together. But I'll tell you about my doctor's appointment after we do our little photo shoot. Oh, I will say that the due date is January 20th. And on Monday, I will be nine weeks, which means I can get the blood work done for the gender and a bunch of other things. So, Monday I have that done. Within seven or 10 days, I'll find out what we are having, which will be exciting. We were gonna do a gender reveal party, but my mom and Josh wanna find out right away. So I have something planned. Instead of a gender reveal party, we got something else planned. But I'm sitting here guiding my mom on where to place the balloons with my phone, with my camera. So I use my camera to like see 
what's going on since I'm gonna be taking the photos with my phone and where to place everything. I don't let you guys go so we can get back to work as my mom does everything and I guide her. <laughs> All right, we got it set up, kind of. I think it'll turn out. I hope so. it is the next day from when we were doing photos yesterday and I did not tell you about my doctor's appointment with my OB because after the photos we ate and I couldn't really eat and then I felt like crap so I came home and just laid down but now I feel somewhat better so I'm gonna try and hurry up before I start to feel disgusting again my doctor's appointment went great Josh was there and he got to see the heartbeat and got to see the little baby because um, my OB had a like a handheld a handheld ultrasound type thing. It had like a screen and stuff on it. It was like a little handheld ultrasound <coughs> thingy, my bobber. I don't know. Jo so Josh actually got to see the heartbeat in the baby since he didn't get to make it to the first ultrasound since he had work. Um, so he was very, very happy about that. Made his day. I will be nine weeks this coming Monday, which means I get to have the blood work done for the gender. I can't wait for that. I think it's a boy. Josh thinks it's a boy. I believe my mom thinks it's a boy. But my niece, Gemma, she's four. And from the very beginning, she says, it's a girl, it's a girl, it's a girl. And if you say it's a boy, she gets very mad. So I'll be happy either way, as long as it's a healthy little baby. I'll be happy. Oh, and if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. The link is down below of what my name, username is, whatever. And I posted some cute pregnancy announcement photos on there, huh? He was a part of some of them and they turned out so good. I love them. Best photos ever. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go follow me. So that way you can stay updated with photos and Instagram stories. So yeah, that is basically all that I have to update you guys on with my appointment. I don't get another ultrasound until I'm like 18 weeks, 20 weeks, something like that. Excuse me. 18 or 20 weeks. That's what they said. But if I want one sooner, then I can get one. But anyways, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this three-day vlog with me and... I'll see you guys in my next one. And if I'm not uploading, it's because I feel like crap. <laughs> and all I do is just sit on my chair right there. <laughs> so I guess I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.